You know we love sports here at the Broadcast yep. House, and we love sports that are a little off the beaten path. <laughs> uh, well, apparently so does a lot of folks, so much so that uh, Ocho Day on ESPN2 is coming back to Rock Hill this August. We have Brian Jones, who is the um, who is with the uh, – Rock Hill PRT department. He's a supervisor over there at the Indoor Sports and Event Center. Good morning to you, Brian. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So Ocho Day on ESPN2. Yeah, the official name. I have the official yeah. name now. ESPN8, the Ocho, presented by Sonic. So one of the ESPN want to make sure, hey, Sonic this year. Okay. So we have a sponsor. <laughs> All right. So we've got that taken care of with the official title. What are we talking about here? So this has now happened. This is going to be our third year hosting it here Correct. in Rock yep. Hill. Yep. Well, let's take our listeners back in time of how Ocho came about. Yeah. So um, I think everybody can remember the great movie called Dodgeball that came out. Uh, it's, it's actually the 20th year anniversary. So. Um, I know it makes you feel old, um, but a, a fictitious uh, brand of, of ESPN called the Ocho or ESPN 8 uh, started in that movie. It was, it's not real. It's not a real thing, but uh, they kind of brought it back to life in, in uh, about eight years ago to bring in these knit, what, I, what I call niche sports, these, these crazy fun sports that people like to enjoy. Um, and they did that eight years ago. They started started doing that, not with not live shows. Um, so four years ago, pre-recorded, them? pre-recorded, okay. yeah, correct. Four years ago, the only live show that was on the Ocho Day was Cornhole from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. So um, we got together. It was a great idea that we had with uh, Stacy Moore from the ACL. Of hey, if we, you know, Rock Hill's kind of known for niche sports: BMX, uh, disc golf, velodrome, uh, a lot of cool sports. And we got our heads together. Say, why can't we do? you know, more hours of live programming here in Rock Hill because we have great facilities. We've got the people. We've got the, you know, the venues. And um, so we kind of pitched that to ESPN. ESPN loved it. Of course, you know, not knowing about programming and how TV works, you know, I was thinking, hey, we could do disc golf. We could do velodrome, PM, BMX. Yeah, well, it's easy. It's, it's easy, easy. Yeah. yeah. Very easy. you got it. Yeah. I'm a sports guy, you know. <laughs> so, you're on TV. Uh, that's your they, said, they said, no, it's a great idea, but you need to have two locations um, mm-hmm. so we can film two locations. So we have Manchester Meadows and then the Rock Hill Sports and Event Center. And we bounce back. Every hour is a different sport. So this is this will be our, our third year doing it. Um, so um, we started um, with, you know, with some great sports and then. You know, it kind of builds and builds and builds. Now we're up to 12 hours of live uh, live wow. programming. Um, it's a full day of programming. Again, it goes back to those pre-recorded programs. And then 12 hours of live programming here in Rock Hill. Mm. So the running joke in the Dodgeball movie, because at the time ESPN had already launched ESPN2, mm-hmm. ESPN3. So the running joke was now we've got eight, eight. channels right, right. featuring all kinds of sports. Right. And that's why it became Ocho Day. And it kind of caught on. Um, but boy, they seem to really like Rock Hill. And we love that they like Rock Hill. But we've got the venues to host all of these unique games. In the past, some of the games have included what? Like... Well, we've done dodgeball. Yeah, you, know? yep. <laughs> you got to have that. Yeah. So, uh, pillow fighting was last year. Was um, of course, cornhole, slippery stairs, um, kickball has been a, a favorite. Um, we've done axe throwing. A lot. Um, what was it? Air guitar. We did two years ago, which is a lot of fun. We had the air guitar national championships, which is very interesting and a lot of fun. Um, and I wish I could announce the the sports for this year. Um, the date is August second. Um, so we got, we have the date, but, and the, and the sports will come, hopefully I'll be able to come back in mid July to announce the sports. But I looked at the latest draft of the sports recently and man, it's, it's going to, it's a good lineup. It's some sports that, that all of us have played before. And then there's some sports that none of us has played before. <laughs> so, so it'll be, it is, it's going to be a very interesting day. Um, probably start at eight or nine in the morning and finish at midnight. So it's going to be a long day of live, a live programming and a lot of, a lot of fun. And, and the, um, one of the concerns that ESPN has, you know, it's on a Friday, which isn't the best day to have it. Um, but one of the concerns is that the, the crowds aren't there. You know, the people aren't there. So we're really putting out a plea um, to our, our, you know, our citizens. Hey, you know, come on out. Bring, bring the, bring the you know, your friends out, family out, youth group out, whatever. You can go to any location, whether it's Manchester Meadows or Rock Hill Sports, and it's free. Uh, you want to be on TV? It, show, it replays all, all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. I so, mean, all the time. Yeah. So if you want to be on TV, come anytime, yeah. anytime mm-hmm. between eight and midnight <laughs> to any one of those facilities. And um, at Manchester Meadows, we actually have a fan zone. 
um, where we have um, music, we have a DJ there, we have games, we have giveaways, it's fun. Uh, big wheel racing. You can participate in big wheel racing and win some prizes if you win your heat and race. So it's a lot of fun. Food trucks, uh, adult drink food trucks, things like that. So it's a lot of fun to come out there and watch sports. But also during that hour where you're off, is, there's some stuff to do. And participants are coming from all over the place for this. I mean, it's it's not just the, the south, right. east. I yeah. mean, they're well, that, coming from all over. Yeah, right. So that's one of the advantages that we took advantage of in PRT mm-hmm. is, hey, we have these 12-plus groups coming to bring their one hour show to us it's an opportunity for us to meet them introduce them to our facilities and try to bring them back for a week-long tournament or a weekend mm-hmm. tournament or you know the heads and bed stuff um <laughs> so and, and that's happened that's happened you know yeah. two or three tournaments that we've got out of ocho day that are brought brought back um to us to to play well, we love that and of course at the end of the day it's publicity you that's right really, oh, yeah you really yeah. can't buy no. i mean this is uh, on national television and it's in replays all the time and how many times did they say rock hill south carolina and then the super which mm-hmm. is like the the graphic that comes on the bottom of the screen will say rock hill south carolina they'll describe where they're located i mean one time is great but over 24 hours that is just fantastic yeah, yeah. so kudos to rock hill prt for putting that together and for thinking beyond just the basic sports going after those niche sports um, that people are making some money on. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and playing it. Yeah, the purse for the uh, the pillow fight last year was ten grand. Whoa! So whoever won the pillow Think fight got that. ten grand. Boy, we're yeah. in the wrong profession. Can I we see still that sign up. Every <laughs> <day>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, all right. So Brian's going to join us back in July, and then we will release the the actual games that will be um, as part of Ocho Day here in Rock Hill. It is on Friday. August the second. That's right. And Lucas is participating in slippery stairs this year. Right. So yep. I saw him training. We can't wait. You know, being 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 in the slippery stairs, you got to be uh, you know like part ninja, part rodeo clown. So you know, Lucas Lucas has that down. So we come out and watch him do the slippery right. stairs. It'll be we great. Can't wait. I'm more worried about wearing that very tight uh, yes. lycra suit that the uh, men and women have to wear. Don't be skipping any gym and the day. Helmet. The, and the helmet, helmet, right? Helmet. Yeah, that's right, Ashley. I need to start dieting. Summer body on display. Oh, now loading. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, thank you, guys. It is, 